Hi, I'm Raphael Haywood. I'm a senior lecturer here at the University of Exeter in the Physics and Astronomy Department. I'm also the Assistant Director for Impact and Engagement at the Global Systems Institute. My primary research is in astrophysics. I look at planets that orbit stars beyond our solar system, and I'm particularly interested in those small ones that may be rocky and that may be similar to Earth. But at the same time, we already know enough from observations of these planets and of our own planet that there isn't another planet like Earth. There is no planet B. Because what makes us special is the life that's on it, that's shaped our planet over the last three and a half billion years. And that's what makes Earth livable for us. And that's what makes it unique. One of the biggest challenges that we're facing right now in academia is uh, becoming interdisciplinary and moving beyond the traditional boundaries between disciplines. We really need the scientists to link up with the humanities and the arts because it's not enough to just you know, go and get observations. Of course we must, and we must analyze them, and we must publish papers and understand how the Earth system works and how the climate works. But we also need to make sure it's our duty to make sure that these findings are get to people and that people hear them and that people act on them. And we can only do that by engaging with uh, artists and creative writers. The biggest problem that we're facing right now is it's not technological. We have the solutions. It's not a lack of knowledge. Of course, we always need more knowledge, but we have enough knowledge. The biggest problem is that we need hope. People need hope in order to act, because otherwise we fall into this soft denial where, yes, we agree that climate change is an issue, but we don't think that it's our job, personally and professionally, to do something about it. I love the astrophysics research that I do. I've always been fascinated by nature and by space, and looking for planets beyond our solar system is just incredible when you think about what we can achieve. And at the same time, the more I look at these other worlds, the more I realize that we have these really pressing issues on Earth today. Climate change is it's happening now, and we need to address it now. And that's why I'm now an active member of the Global System Institute, because I want to be part of the solution and I want to push for change now.